What up? I'm Swell Dog. I like to build cool stuff. Hey, got a lot of projects happening today. I've drawn up a lot of brackets for a lot of different things going on. Exhaust flanges, for some turbos, for some compound kits for those turbos we just rebuilt. Brackets for some traction bars, for low fabrication, some new ones that I've been trying to uh, incorporate into the U-bolt plates, which I think are gonna be pretty sweet. Some brackets for the rear suspension on the silver truck to start getting some pieces cut out, four link and airbag in the rear of the truck. So I headed up to my buddy Nick's to uh, get all those cut out. Last we got some exhaust and turbo flanges cut out. Didn't have time to cut out any of the uh, other brackets for the traction bars, suspension brackets or anything. But Nick just, he texted me yesterday, said that he was able to get all those cut out. And I was at work last night. I'm actually, it's almost seven in the morning. I'm just on my way home from work right now. We're gonna swing by Nick's place, pick up all those brackets and see how they turned out. Here we got turbo flanges. Some with holes, some without holes, because I wanted to drill and tap for studs. These are just T6. HX35 flange. Intake for three and a half, and then a bunch of suspension brackets, traction bar brackets, U-bolt plates. It's like cheating. The plastic table's like, it's like cheating, man. Look how easy that is. Look how sweet those turned out. Just cleaned up a little bit. All right, we just left Nick's, picked up the brackets on our way home now. And, dude, the, the plastic table, it's, it's like cheating. Yeah, dude, Nick's the man. Those brackets turned out so sweet. I'm gonna get home, I'm gonna grab some sleep since I was on the night shift last night. And I'm gonna show you all the brackets that we got and uh, what, what they're all for and hopefully they all work. It's the next day and I've already been working on some stuff. Let me show you what we got going on with these brackets. So here's a whole bunch of stuff that we got cut out. We got a bunch of these cut out. This is an intake flange for the 5.9 Cummins for a three and a half inch piece of pipe that'll fit 
just like that. So we're gonna weld that up, build a uh, three and a half inch intake. And then we've got some T6 flanges that we cut out. I should cut out a couple different ones. These have no holes for studs. These I put holes in, and this is with the full cutout. And then this is with a smaller cutout to fit a three inch pipe. So you can kind of see it matches up with a three inch pipe. And then once you weld it on, you can kind of grind it where you want to match, to gasket match it. A bunch of those cut out. Uh, a couple of these tabs for traction bars for the second gen Cummins that will weld to the factory U-bolt plates. These just weld on like that. And got a few of those cut out, but the factory U-bolt plates are getting a lot harder to, to find, so I drew these up, and this is the first time I've cut them out. It's kind of a trial run, two different ones of a whole U-bolt plate with the traction bar brackets in it. I got two versions here. These are both for Dana 80, but one where the tab comes out the bottom like this, slots cut in it for the brackets pop through, I haven't welded, these are just tacked together. And then this one, where it's more towards the front, kind of like what I would do on these. So I think I actually end up liking these better, how they go together. So we're gonna get those welded up and see how they work. Got a couple flanges cut out, a bunch of these. Oh, they're buried in there, but a bunch of these flanges for the back HX35s build some compound turbo piping this will bolt on there and then you can weld your build a hot pipe off of that and what else oh I cut out these brackets these go with this but this bracket is gonna be for down here so on the front, when we built the four link on the front, we made these brackets. And we're gonna do the same on the rear. And the way they ended up working out with the geometry of the suspension that I wanted, I'm gonna have to cut this body mount just a little bit right here, or maybe I'll notch it out so I can slide this up underneath it, but it'll go right about there, just a little bit higher up. And then I'm gonna have to move this I think I'm gonna move this a little bit farther forward or I might just take it out altogether, but it ended up being right where I wanted to put my lower control arms. So we're gonna start doing four Lincoln airbags on the rear of this. So let's get those uh, other brackets welded together. All right, got them all welded together. Probably wondering why I was welding them on my driveway. Well, the uh, welding table is currently covered in turbo parts and power wheels parts. So I need to get that those projects squared away so I can do some more welding, but that's why we were welding on the driveway. 
but uh, we got them all welded together. I hit this one, these two with the flapper wheel, just kind of hit the corners. This, these are just welded, welded raw. I made this spacer that's actually oversized by about 30 thousandths to help things keep things spaced right uh, when I weld, so then stuff slides in pretty slick after that. Anyways, that's just kind of a, a start to finish on. I don't think I got as much footage as I'd like on cutting stuff out and welding it together. I don't really show much of cleaning up all this dross on there. But my plan is I want to make a uh, vibrating tumbler deburring machine so I can just throw parts in there and knock all that stuff up and clean them up. So I'm sure I'll make a video on building that. And if it works or not, that's it for today. Go out and build something cool.